I will not do that. Uh, absolutely will not do that. Uh, and there's many, many reasons. One is I like my height and I like my skin. And ATC has very, very good, very high priced attorneys. And you need a very experienced attorney to fight for you as well. And that's a general process of what's ahead in valuation. Right, but so, so basically, no way to make a migrant is with us, you know, because it's not, I'm, they're not going to send a letter to me saying, Daniel, yeah, send me your life to review. Unless the, yeah, I, I guess I needed to clarify. Unless the power line is on your property, you have no right of compensation. Um, there has been a challenge to this often. California has tried it, a number of other states have tried it. And there's a challenge called inverse condemnation, which means that a value has been taken from you by the actions of a public utility or a public improvement that you have not been compensated for. Um, it's a little tricky to get one of those. We tried that in Milwaukee a few years back with a pump, with a gas pipeline. Uh, that one was dead on arrival. <laughs> Um, it is very, very difficult in our state of Wisconsin to get that. I believe the state of uh, California has uh, allowed some of that now, but our state has not. So, the, um, uh, I know, okay, so we did before and after studies, uh, and, and there weren't there were a lot, I know, because I uh, have spoken with Brian James, and Brian relayed some of the information to us. But the idea is that you do say my land was um, on the line, right, before, I mean, it was, and it was built on it. Have you looked at properties in uh, northern Wisconsin and that have sold or been adjusted or not have sold or whatever after the line has gone in to give people an idea about what the impacts on the values of the land have been up there? Yes. Um, <clears throat> he's talking about an impact study. The way we do an impact study is for those who have a science background, you take a control uh, group, and that's the group that doesn't have the whatever you're trying to discover, and then you take the group that has the whatever you have on it. The control group are those properties that do not have a power line. Let's take uh, raw agricultural land, for instance. We would investigate agricultural land sales in a certain area, and then we would investigate the same agricultural land sales with a power line on it. We make adjustments for those things which are different, water frontage, uh, quality of soils, possibly pasture land, wooded area, quality of woods, all these things that will make something valuable or value less. And once those adjustments are made, then we compare that to each other. And the theory is once you've made the adjustments, you've made them relatively equal, therefore their value should be relatively equal. If they are not, the only thing left out there, the only component left to adjust for, is the presence of the power lines. We have done approximately, I'm trying to think now, we've done at least two large studies, one up in the northern area, uh, which would be the counties north of here, and we have done a number of smaller studies in both the northeast of Wisconsin and the southeast of Wisconsin, the Dane County area, of uh, both agricultural land, forested land, as well as small uh, residential properties, and even in an urban residential property environment. So those studies help the appraiser to kind of get a feel for what's going on. But the most powerful thing is an actual sale that's comparable to your property, if you can find something like that. Now here's a problem. How many 345 lines are running through this area? <laughs> right? Okay. We got a problem right off the bat. And the appraiser is going to know that right off the bat. And they're going to say, well, we have a problem, so maybe I can find a 69 kV. It's not the same, but maybe I can find something like that, see if there's an impact. Or maybe I have to go to a different area to find my comparables as well and make adjustments for that. What, uh, when Brian's been speaking, 